Hello, Crypto Tester here. Welcome to my show. In this video, I will show you how you can buy on PancakeSwap any shitcoin that you don't initially find when you search it. So, for example, let's say you go to your Bifi Finance website here and then you see some fancy coin called Ramen that is offering you 2,82% uh, uh, per day if you provide liquidity with Ramen and Busty and you want to buy Ramen, okay? So, you go back to PancakeSwap, you just click Trade Exchange and you, you, you land in here. Uh, let's say you want to start with BUSD, like uh, in my case, or USDT, whatever you want. And then you want to search for ramen here. You search ramen and you don't find it. So then you say, what the hell, How? what's up? So there, there are two alternatives for this. There is a nice exchange here that it's called One Inch. You can find the link in the description with my referral. I would appreciate if you use it. So I get a little bit of uh, commissions from the fees you pay to the website. So you don't lose anything, it's the website here that is losing a little bit of fees. And here you can find a lot of shit coins. So, for example, you just write ramen and here you find it. There are two icons here, you click one, the one that looks good. If you want, you can try the other one. You can see in the URL at the top, it's the same. So, that's one way to find it. And then we're gonna compare the, um, the prices because uh, here there is a gas fee, you, you pay a little bit more. Sometimes here you can see that it will find a better route. Sometimes you use, you save up if you use this one. So it depends on the, the coins that you trade. So, but if you, if you want to compare, then you want to try to trade it here. So how do you do that? Um, if you go to the URL at the top here, exchange pancake swap, you can provide um, some par URL parameters. So question mark, and then I already did in the past. You can see, for example, input currency and output currency. So, what do you do for that? For, um, you have to search for your coin. First of all, you go, for example, in Coin Market Cap, you search ramen here. You find the coin you want. Then here, you can find the contract here of the of this of the coin. So you click this one, and if you want, you can actually um, explore it with the BSC scan website. You click here and you insert the smart contract of this ramen coin. Uh, it doesn't really tell you much if you go here, but if you go in the contract, then here you can check the source code of the contract. And probably at a certain moment you will find that it's uh, the name is ramen, whatever. Then you find supply or other stuff. I don't really have time now to check for this one, but uh, yeah, you can you can check it out. You can um, do it yourself. So in my case, I wanted to try to swap that. So input, I already have what I want. So in this case, I will just write output currency equals, and then you paste the address. And it doesn't work the first time, then you have to select and press it again, enter. And now it will show you this dialogue here that you have to say that you understand that um, there is a risk because anybody can create a um, shit coin that is worth nothing and send you a link like this. And you want to be sure you want to trade it. So in this case, yes, ramen is here. And I lost the input currency, so BUSD. And now, for example, I say I want to buy 100 bucks of this one. I can see here that I will receive estimated 30,98 ramen. So if I go now to the other one that I wanted to show you, one inch, I do the same. I say 100. And here it shows I will receive 30,87. So this is a, an example where on Pancake Swap I will receive more. So why it didn't work now? Sometimes there is like a bug like this. But then if you wait, you you will see. So this is a bad example because this is cheaper on Pancake Swap. Not a problem. 30,94 and here I will receive 30,95 and the, even the fee is a bit less. It shows me here that the estimate is 0, 0,39 and here it will cost you a bit more 0, 0,51. Okay, let's see. Let's say you want something else. I mean, make another example. You want to get this one, the first one at the top, the soup here, soup to BNB, which I already 
used by the way and same story uh, in this case uh, you don't find soup not even here because it's very exotic it's not even listed on uh, coin market cap uh, let's try on coin gecko it's also not listed here so this is a very exotic despite being the first one in uh, beefy so be careful because uh, you see the first ones they can be very crazy projects and you don't know whether if they're safe so be careful so in this case I already did a bit of research about that and here in their website they have a link called buy soup here and as you can see it is already in the link at the bottom uh, output currency um, the one I want so basically in this case I would have taken it from here and as I told you it doesn't show the dialogue first so I close this one I go here I put it here and then I press enter doesn't work the first time, then I select again, press again, enter. Okay, finally it arrived here, then I click understand and go. So I try again with BUSD because that's my favorite currency on Binance Smart Chain to use. So while this is waiting, I go here and I select also soup, not to confuse soups because that's a soup share, I want soup here and I want 100 here you can see that uh, at the, actu the actual price it should be updated here for um, in a while you can see the actual price actually here inverse rate 1 soup equals 835 so here you see the price actually and here you see how much you receive so if I will trade here I will receive 0 0,11948 oh now I'll receive even more because the price dropped a bit see and if you click here this will not auto refresh but if you click it it will automatically refresh every 15 seconds or, or so even less so like this you can see how much you will spend here the fee will be two dollars you see and here the estimation fee in BNB so Let's go to pancake swap. So this one should also refresh. If not, then just put another, just remove, you know. Well, here it shows you the price is 837. So it's a bit more expensive and I will receive 0 0.119. Uh, yeah, it updated. You see, I will receive 119147 and the fee will be like this. So the price 839 and here the price 824 so this is a good example because here you see also that the routing is a bit different it's using spartan and so on it it's using basically um two different routes in one to receive the, the amount you want if you want another route you can click here with the lowest gas cost but then the price is a bit more expensive you see so you pay less gas, you pay only one dollar, but then the price is similar to pancake swap that you can see here. So if you click again here, maximum return, that's what you get. So let's make a test. Let's see here they show that it costs two bucks in fees, and the Binance network fee is gonna be this one, 0077. So if I click this one, swap doesn't do anything I still have to confirm so here then I click confirm until I click confirm it I don't confirm anything I just want to see the number here the gas then I click reject now take my nice calculator here let's show you so I will spend this amount of gas the um, price of BNB is 263 so I will spend 2,88 dollars in gas and here it shows that you spend two two dollars but that's uh, yeah, it's still not clear how exactly how it works but you save up 40 cents here that's what they say if I go here 
and I swap here I will pay more 839 I will receive 0 0.119 if I click swap still the same it shows you the fees ah it up it, the price updated I accept um, so I wanna s click swap confirm yeah and I wanna see the gas fee here it's this one I click reject again so I don't swap anything and again I take my, my calculator and show you how much it will be so this is 0, 0,54 cents so to sum up I, I did put the numbers in a Google spreadsheet here and what I did is to write down the coins I will receive with one platform so pancake I will receive this amount and this is the fees and here I multiply 263 and then this number here to see how much fees it is and then the total spent here so you will see that here you know, on one inch I receive a bit more than pancake and it will cost uh, almost uh, two dollars more and here at the top I receive a bit less so I wanted to see if the amount I receive here will justify to use one inch in this example so I did this at uh, 012 minus 0119 and I, I see the coin difference here and then I multiply this one for the price that is listed on PancakeSwap so the expensive one here and I see the amount I would spend it's 102,27 so in this case it will be still cheaper to use PancakeSwap now I want to try another test to see if I, is, if I use a bigger amount if it will change something so I go here on one inch the route is still the same I will put 500 so five times more and it shows me that I will receive this amount here now I will go here and click swap and we see here that will receive this amount confirm swap and that will be the amount of gas fees here that I reject if I will do the same in pancake I will just put 500 and I will receive this amount and the price will be this and click swap if I click here I can see the price confirm and that will be the amount of gas which I reject in this second test I did put the numbers again in this spreadsheet the price difference is very small only two dollars and the coins received as well I did the same um, I did check the gas also here it's a bit lower this time but the coin difference very low and to buy it it's just one uh, 95 cents more so the total meaning this amount here which is the amount 500 plus the gas plus uh, the amount needed to buy the difference it will make 501,51 and the difference between this and this on one inch is just 0 0.03 so 3 cents 3.5 cents so, so this case is going to be same same if you buy on one inch or pancake swap just for me sometimes it's worth to just go to one inch instead of going to pancake swap and put in the URL that output currency and stuff so sometimes it's for the convenience I use one inch even if it's just a few cents more but uh, I suggest you to make an Excel file like I did and sometimes when you use large amounts uh, you may save up a bit using one inch so if you want to give it a try please check the link in the description if this video was helpful for you please give it a like subscribe smash the bell button if you want to stay tuned and I wish you a nice day or a nice evening bye bye